So this is just for me and Leah. This is what I went for, plain chips, two ranch, parmesan chicken, and also parmesan chicken, because I don't really like um, too much flavor. Lee, tell them what you got. I've got normal chips, a blue cheese sauce, a ranch sauce, then I've got the chicken, parmesan chicken, and the parmesan chicken. Nice. 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 Repeat after me. Big back, big back, big back, big back. Lots of food, lots of food, not enough people. Big back apex here. I think Leah probably deserves this a little bit. Leah has been really, really, really buckling down to try to get into that good, good shape for her wedding. And that's what I've been peeping. Leah has been on a deficit. And it's fine if you're going out to eat every once in a while. But Corey, on the other hand, bruh. <laughs> You gotta calm the fuck down a little bit. You've been body slamming way too much, way too frequently, and you've been doing it every day. Every day. And when you're not out with Leah, you out with Becky. And when you're not with when you when you're not out with Becky, you're out with Cherry Ann. So what is going on with you, man? Huh? Why do you not have any guy friends? How come whenever I see you outside, how come I only ever see you with women? And now you might be thinking, David. That's okay. What's wrong with hanging out with women? Nothing. Nothing wrong with hanging out with women at all. But you guys know, and I guys know, that whenever you see dudes hanging out with a copious amount of women have no guy friends at all, most of the time I'm looking at that person and going, you're gay, right? You love men? You love men in your mouth? You 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 ingest men? Nothing wrong with that, by the way. Nothing wrong with that at all. I just want to call it out. Also, uh, Corey does dress like he's a brat's. So I just wanted to also point that out. But Corey has been eating a lot recently. Uh, been going on vacations literally every week, it seems like. And he's been eating way too much, man, every day. But today we're going to investigate the calorie surpluses of, of Corey's world. Oh, my God, guys. Me and Leah, my fiance, are going out to Wingstop, and we're gonna eat so much food. I only really like chicken if Leah's eating it, because she's so beautiful. Preferably, I would like a burger. I would love a burger. I'll give you a taste test now, and I'll rate it out of 10. Uh, no, does anybody really care about Corey's taste test? Like, is anybody really going to Wingstop and, like, ordering this particular food and going, you know the reason why I order this, right? It's because Corey. Corey's world. From, from TikTok? Yeah. He did a review for this place, and he said it was a 7 out of 10. Huh. That's why I came in here and got it. Nobody cares, bro. You don't have taste buds anymore. Why do you have that thing above your head, man? It's so weird. I've never seen anybody wearing their hair like this, but he has an amazing hairline. We haven't been to the car to put this up in ages. Cheers. Closing your eyes to eat deep-fried chicken is diabolical. It's just brown chicken. You could probably get the same amount of chicken from the supermarket down the street. Go to your stop -a shop and just get... Uh, Tyson's chicken tenders or whatever, dude. Maybe the off brands. A store sometimes even makes better chicken tenders if that's what you want to do. I don't know why so many people love going to restaurants to get these deluxe chickens. They're not really anything special. I've been the amount of people that told me, Dave, you gotta go to Raising Cane's. You gotta go to Dave Raising Cane's. They're so good. So I went there. I went there, and I went there with a lady. And I went there and I was like, I'm gonna impress her. I'm gonna buy Raising Cane's so she, so that way she could see that I'm willing to spend thirteen dollars on chicken tenders and fourteen fries. And I got two servants for that shit. And I said, don't worry about it. I got it. And I bought it. And I sat down and I was eating it, right? And I just sat there and I thought, this shit isn't fucking worth it. It was so bland. It was basic bitch chicken tenders. It was the worst, the, the worst $13, $14 I ever spent in my entire life. And the other person I was with also felt the same way. And I was surprised. I walked in. Not a single white person in sight. I was the only white person in the entire establishment. It was packed to the brim. So many black people, I couldn't even see my own eyes. And I was expecting, since you know the, the stereotype, black people love chicken and whatever the fuck, I was expecting, since that was the case, that I was going to love this too. I think this was a facade. I think they hired those black dudes. I think they did that to get white people to come in to buy the chicken because they thought that we were racist inherently, and I guess it's true, and we went in there to buy it. But it's funny because I went there with a black lady and she said that shit was bad too. So I don't know, man. By the way, that was a joke. There were, I guess there was an Asian guy there too, okay? It wasn't all black guys, okay? But I did have to turn the brightness up on my eyes. Let me stop. Nice. 10 out, of 10. 10 out of 10 for some regular deep fried fucking chicken, bro. That's why I'm not trusting your reviews, dude. You don't, you don't got have, you don't have credentials for this. Where, where, where's your certificate for food reviewing, dude? Where, where is it, huh? Is your last name review, bruh? You don't got the certificate for this, dude. What's your credentials? You don't got it, man. 10 out of 10. Chicken takes pack. I see why Leah might want to put on a lot of, 
a lot of tan I do. Sometimes I don't even peep it, but Leah be dried out. Leah really do look like she's real see-through sometimes, man. Um, she kind of look light, lighter than the ranch dressing here. Saucy. Oh my god, guys. I've never eaten anything so delicious before in my life, including my wife. It's so amazing, guys. Please make sure you go to Wingstop and use my coupon code Corey's World to get 10% off of my next order. Out of 10? 10 out of 10. That's come on, dude. That wasn't 10. First of all, she put up three fingers on this hand, and she put up like two fingers on that hand. That's not. Do you know what five is, bro? And the drinks here are refillable. Cool. I always go for a Diet Coke. I know it's boring. So the total come to £35 for that. 35 bills? 35, bro? Man, what are we even doing anymore going out to eat? You real deal got to have absolutely the most money in the world to be spending 35 bills at Wingstop. You got to be crazy as hell. What you talk about? 35 bills? That's crazy, bro. That's criminal, man. And you knew it was going to cost that much? I hope when you was filling up that soda, you took a couple for the road, bro. I would have came in there with a couple extra cups, bro. That's insane, dude. 35 bills? Nah, dude, you got me fucked all the way up. You got to suck me all the way down. I better be getting hand jobs and straight up foot foot jobs behind the counter from whoever's back there, bro. Ain't no way I'm paying 35 bills for some dried out chicken that got to dip in sauce to feel any type of moisture on my lips. Get the fuck out of here. That. We've just got to the Red Dragon Center now. Time to smile too. Not in the cinema if you don't do this. We got Ribena lights. Corey's obviously got a Diet Coke. Are they coming in here trying to sneak in food and shit like that? It's meta. Everybody noticed shit. Back in my day, before they started cracking down on this, me and my boys used to go, and we used to sneak into multiple theaters. This is back when we was broke boys, still a broke boy. But we used to go in there, and it was a... A McDonald's down the street from the AMC and we used to walk into the McDonald's and this is back in the day when you can get for twenty dollars you can get twenty McChickens and we was walking out of there with twenty McChickens 100 percent and we each had twenty I'm not even joking we had the backpacks on and we would have these McChickens just in the backpack oh my god dude 20 McChickens I mean we was eating two on the way to the to the to the to the AMC we walked in. They knew what the deal was. I mean, you're not coming in there with a backpack on. Smell. What's that smell right there? What's that grease I smell? Hmm? What's that? Wait, is that is that fermented chicken I smell in your backpack? They knew the deal. They knew what we had on us, bro. We had to make chickens. And we had a small fry. And we had a drink. Okay? So we walked in there in the middle of the movie, right? Before where the preview was going on. All you heard was munching down. On three, four, five McChickens, bro. By the end of the day, I mean, this is some pure big back shit, but this is the time. Listen, if you got McChickens for one dollar, this is this right here is probably one of the best times to ever be alive in the history of man, human, humanity. At the time frame where McChickens were a dollar, there was really nothing else that was even worth it in general. I mean, this is the time frame when literally people were going, I could buy a PS4 or I can buy 400 McChickens. That's how we used to. That's how we used to estimate if something was worth however much it was worth, right? I remember my friend used to call me up and go, "Bro, this guy just offered me this car. It's a 2014. Um, it's a Toyota. It's got it's got good miles on it." I was like, "How much is it?" He's like, it's like five thousand. I was like, "Bro, that's five thousand McChickens right there. What you thinking?" He's like, Damn, you right, David. That's crazy, bro. That really is 5,000 McChickens. That's enough for me to eat for like literally a month. You totally right. I, you know what, bro? You always write about that, David. I always knew I was right. 5,000 McChickens. That's the way to go. Uh, he never did get that car, but he most definitely did get a few McChickens that day. Some chocolate items, they're my choice. And Corey's got some crunchy rocks. Let's go in. Was this movie good? I heard a lot of people tell me it was good, but uh, I never really, I, I don't really watch movies anymore because uh, I don't have time for it. And also, I don't like movies anymore. I don't know. I just kind of like fell away from them. Um, I do, I'm like a cultural, I, I have a cultural understanding about movies from like 2017 and, and back. I probably understand almost all those. And a few from like modern realms. It was realms. very jumpy. <laughs> it was really spooky. It was a strange film, but Corey lives horror. Yeah, it was nice. Scary. Makes sense, dude. Most horror movies are literal garbage. Boom! Oh, God. 
domino. <laughs> I've got a cold. Leo M for a domino. Dude, shut up, bro. It's just one syllable. Cold. Okay? I don't got a cold. Why is it two syllables there, bro? Cold. Right? Cold. Not cold. What are you talking? Why? It sounds like you're tripping in the middle of saying that word. But you know, go off, King. Earlier without me, at the worst FOMO, so I've ordered a Domino's. So Leah got some some of the Minos, and you saw her munching that shit. Down. First of all, can we just talk about this for a second? If you're in a house with somebody and they order food and they didn't order food for you, what? What? You even asked that person? You asked your manses before you ordered the food? That can't be. That there's no way Leah ordered the Minos without Corey asking for something before. That's insane. There's no way, bro. Now you gotta spend an extra what three or four five bills on a delivery and you gotta tip the new driver. You guys literally could have easily got two orders, had to tip for one. You guys are just blasting your money out your pocket. You don't give a fuck about that. You got too much money, huh? That's what it really sounds like, bro. And the fact that Leah didn't ask you beforehand, which I'm assuming did happen. And you over here, they, I mean, what, what is this domino effect? Leah orders food. You look at Leah munching her food, and you're going, oh, I'm going to have to order some of that food. She see you body slamming your food, and she, as, as a counter to that, is going to order her more food. It's a never-ending cycle. In Ouroboros, uh, a drag is sucking its own meat of people ordering consistently over and over again fast food takeouts, bro. Is this mold on your wall right here? Self. So break my order out with 10. Okay, I it's already... <laughs> You're eating it on the blankets, which is probably a zero. Do you not have a plate? Do you not have anything? You couldn't put this on like a table or something like that, dude, or the floor. The floor would have probably been better than the than the blankets, bro. Out of everything, man, how often do you do your bed sheets, bro? I went for wedges. How many Tide Pods you got? All right, you got wedges. I much prefer sour cream sauce. It's already greasy to fucked up, okay? And barbecue. Okay. And they're nice and fluffy. Cheers. Cool. Obviously, Domino's cookies. You four of them just for yourself is kind of insane, bro. You kind of you kind of going overboard a little bit with these four, bro. That's kind of crazy. If it was four between you and your girl, I would have kind of understood. But four four just for your mouth? You got too many mouth. You got to, listen, bro. The amount of mouth movements that you got to even say to yourself to even qualify this order is crazy. And the fact that you're gonna be doing mouth movements to put this in your throat too. Why you gotta satisfy your mouth every day, bro? Take a take a day. Take a day, bro. You don't need to do it every day. I'm beat um. Okay. A large garlic and herb. Somebody told me that's 700 calories just for the lorge. Somebody let me know. Is that true? Is this 700 calories? Is the dip literally 700 calories? Dip. And for my pizza of choice, I went for half. You got a whole pizza to yourself, huh? You got a whole pizza to yourself? This is just for your mouth? Just for your mouth. All right. Okay, bro. I mean, you're big. You're obviously big as fuck. That's some serious big back shit on apex level right here, bro. And half, so I got margarita and barbecue bakes with pepper. That's margarita? Where's the margarita at? That's, they didn't even cut this shit properly, bro. Looks like they fucked your shit up. Roni, I just did like a custom make one. I haven't eaten a single thing today and it's nine o'clock and I'm starving. So an entire day and a box of pizza is about what? 15 to 800, 1800 calories. How much for the cookies? I don't fucking know. Let's just say hypothetically that box is like 500 calories. Probably light. Uh, that's probably real light. So I'm going to have to say on a light realm right there, that's probably around 2,000 calories. If you're, kinda, if you're gonna count the sauce in, maybe he doesn't eat the, all the sauce, about 2,500 calories. And then he got the uh, he got the chips too. We gotta add in that. That's probably about two, three, 400 calories right there altogether. You probably stacking in about 3,000 calories today, Corey. How you feel about that? <sighs> How you feel about body slamming 3,000 calories in one meal? That shit feel good to you? How your stomach feeling after that? Like after body slamming the box, after body slamming all that food and shit like that, you ever look down at your stomach and go, my bad, bro. I didn't mean that shit, dude. Damn, man. I just see, I just saw the menu and I was like, eh, that shit look good in my mouth. And my bad, bro. I didn't know that shit was going to do you like that. I know, I know you're going to have the bubble guts in like 20, 30 minutes, bro, but... It is what it is. I, got, I mean, I got an addiction. It's a problem for me. What am I supposed to do, bro? I had to. I had to feed my mouth with that good shit that make you not quit. I had to. That shit was too good in my eye sockets. My eyes was literally watering, looking at that deliciousness. I was literally daydreaming about that shit. I needed it. That's what you got to tell your stomach. Mm. Yo. Cheers, guys. What are you all having for tea? Bro, come on, I'm gonna man. catch up on Big Brother now. I reckon Ali's gonna win, although I use my final vote for Marcello. You got a great life, man. You know that? You got a good life, dude. I'm happy for you. I'm real happy for you, bro. Somebody somewhere out there is minus coal out of the ground. Some Indonesian man beating off in a blue room. You know, some guy in Vietnam you know, picking rice and 
eating corn, you know, uh, and you, here you are eating an entire dom a Domino's order with just your own mouth, bro. You you're living a good life, man. And you're about to get married. <laughs> GG. And in case you didn't see, I'm starting to do YouTube. I'm going to give it a go. I have no idea what I'm doing. Just ordered a laptop. The link to subscribe to the YouTube channel is in my bio. We and supporting Corey. We supporting him. Looking after Henny tonight. Dude looks depressed as fuck, man. You probably saw you munching that shit down. He knows you don't got long for this world. Hello, Henny. You can have some pizza in a bit. Nah, you not eating that shit directly in front of your doge, dude. That's insane, man. <sighs> I'll catch up with you tomorrow. Love you all. Guys, we're back from Ellesmere. Poor. I've got a cold. It come on last night. Um, so I haven't been feeling too good today. I've just been laying in bed. But Leah's got me tea. You know, so the number one thing that you're supposed to do when you have a cold is you're supposed to hydrate. You're supposed to drink a lot of liquids. And coming from a man like Corey, who abuses his liver to the next degree, man. And not as much as Leah, it seems like. Leah seems to be going all out, uh, destroying her liver. But for Corey, it doesn't seem like he's doing too bad, I guess. He should be really prioritized. Don't get me wrong. You should eat. I remember when I had the vid. Um, I had, my, my throat was so busted. It was gone. Like, my anytime I swallowed anything, I would just feel, like, it felt like a million needles. It didn't matter if I, I literally woke myself up in the middle of the night from swallowing in my sleep because it was so painful. And I remember I told my friends, I was like, guys, I think I got the vid. I think I got the vid because when I swallow, um, it, it just, like, hurts so bad in my throat. And the response I got back was, why you sucking dick? Why you suck dick so much to where your mouth is literally handicapped now? Your throat is literally dusted? How am I, <coughs> how am I gonna get my meat massage on Monday if your mouth is busted? And I'm just sitting here like, I'm fucking dying. I'm literally dying. I haven't eaten in like nine hours because it feels so painful to swallow anything at all. And you're over here making, you're making beat off jokes. You're making mouth movement jokes about me. I'm about to go to the emergency room is how bad this shit is. And it's sometimes it makes me feel upset that when you have friends like that, you can't really be serious. But eventually they do get serious and they go, oh, yeah, bro, um, it's OK. I, you don't have to suck me off on Monday. Just go to the hospital now. And I did go to the hospital. They didn't do shit for me. They just gave me an ibuprofen and told me to get the fuck out. I'm not even joking either. I literally went to the ER. And, but you know what? The next like three days was probably the best three days after that. You know when you're, you're at the apex of pain? And it feels so terrible and it, you just feel like the worst you ever felt. But then that next day, the pain goes down by like 20%. And you just feel like 100% better. You're like, oh, thank God it's finally going away. Oh, wow. Thank you so much for that 20% loss. But anyway, I don't even know what we're talking about. So I'm going to show you what she's made. So I've got a tin of tomato soup okay. and a plate of... By the way, there's really no, like, eating soup doesn't really do shit when you have a sickness or whatever. So if you're if you're thinking that this is gonna do anything other than just make you feel worse, it's probably that's probably what's gonna do. Maybe eat some protein, something that's gonna you know hit a little bit harder, so you get more nutrients out of it. I don't know, bro. Um, a plate full of fucking bread is kind of insane, by the way. And unmelted unmelted butter on the by the way, butter butter unmelted butter on my bread. What's what's this called? Bread. Um, just buttered tiger bread. Buttered tiger bread. Yeah. It looks so lush. It's this right. is Leah's dinner. Oh, I've got jacket potato and loads of cheese. He's yeah, it's a lot of cheese on there. Damn, bro. You ain't going to the bathroom for a few days, bro. Your diet literally has to have... If your diet literally has to have cheese on that shit, you want some different shit. Beans on... Beans on... On on a potato, by the way. I don't know about that one. Look at this. Should we do a cheese string pull? That looks It's been so cooking good. for hours. Mm. Oh, look at that. That's that's I mean, the type of sounds you hear when you about to do some extra shit with your wife, but instead you hearing it when your wife eating a potato. Let me give it a taste test for you now. What? There's literally nothing potato? better than soup when you're ill. Cheers, guys. Feel better, Corey. Feel mm. better. I hope you're feeling good. We're bro. gonna catch up on Big Brother now and dig into this. Hope I feel bad, man. It always sucks a lot of dick when people get the sicknesses and stuff like that. I know I don't feel good, and um, you know I like Corey personally. I do, so I only want him to feel better. Hopefully my cold go soon. I've got some shrapsels here because my throat's killing. I've got a few cans of cold diet coke. Why your throat hurt? Stop, dude. Listen, man. We all do it. It is what it is. When somebody say their throat hurt, you know what it is, bro. Why your throat hurt, huh? Why your hands hurt? Beating off too much? I hear that shit consistently. Come on now. You know what it is. And I'm going to try some Elias jacket. Damn, Corey, you got the acrylics on? Coke. Can you see that shit real quick? And I'm going to try some Elias jacket. If you told me that was Corey's hand, I would not, I would be like, yeah, I know. 
I know. I never saw a man before that wore them platform Converse, dude. Them, 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 them shoes, the, the, the shoes like that, or or the pants that come down in the bell bottoms. Unless your name is exactly John Travolta and it's 1979, you can't do that, okay? But Corey, he do that shit consistently. Um, but that's that's you know what? It's okay. Um, I love your nails, Corey. They look good. They look beautiful. Good for you. Mm, cheesy. Good, I yeah. Of, I put loads of layer pack in it. That's lush. And it's layer pack on top of your bread as well. Thanks, babes. Billy has been a good nurse. She's helped me out today, and hopefully my cold will go soon. I actually hate having a cold. Everybody hates having a cold. It's literally like the worst. You would think that in the year 2024, there would be like some kind of magical pill or some kind of magical serum that you could take that would just get rid of it altogether. But there isn't. So we just got to like put up with it. I'm going to rest up for a few days and I'll see you soon. Love ya. Still had the ability to make a video though. That's more than I can say about Amberlynn Reed. That's more, <laughs> you know, I was just watching Amberlynn Reed recently and she was saying like, I, I got to take mental, I got to take a mental illness break. And she already had taken like a two month break before that. Like how many more breaks you need? God damn, dude, go buy a Kit Kat. It's just about to go and get some. She kind of looking a little bit brown. Dessert. Ah. To midnight delivery, it's a dessert place. Uh. <sighs> Guys, this is what I got, a Milky Bar cookie dough with vanilla ice cream. Corey, where you buy that hoodie at, man? Why can't you just wear regular stuff, dude? Taste test, cheers. Damn, bro. Getting shit all over the table, dude. Mm, really sweet. Bro, bring, bring it to your mouth. Bring it to your mouth, bro. Bro, 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 bro. What are you doing, dude? You know people clean up after you, right? I mean, granted, yeah, they have that job and they're supposed to do that job. But, you know, take the take the plate and go like this. Ready? Right here. And then do that. You don't have to go have that shit all the way down here and just, you know, shake it off and on the fucking table, bro. You're good. You don't know what etiquette is, dude? God damn, man. Shit dripping all over the table, <laughs> boy. I've got the most beautiful Nutella crack with some vanilla ice cream and I can't wait. Nutella what? The most beautiful Nutella crack with some... Crap, huh? Okay. Vanilla ice cream. Got a rug on the wall? I can't wait. Rate it out of 10. 10 out of 10. Cool. Guys, look at my kin. Bro, these people, man. And it's right next to your phone too, dude. You got that shit literally dripping on the table. And your phone is literally a centimeter away from that shit. You guys got to chill the fuck back. If you ever see me out in public, you're never seeing my phone on table. You're seeing my phone in pocket. I'm not having my phone out. If I do have it out, it's because I'm looking at it real quick just to make sure. And it's under the table. I'm just looking around making sure nobody see my shit. Because guess what? I grew up in the hood. I grew up in a place where people would steal your phone and then they would add, they would go, you want me to help you look for it, bro? These devious motherfuckers would literally come up, grab your shit, and help you look for your shit. That was a consistent thing all the fucking time, dude. So, given the fact that I grew up in this cultural understanding that never, never in your life have anything valuable on the table. Maybe it's different where you guys are from, but it sounds like you guys are the type of dudes that have your door unlocked. That's crazy, bro. Never in your life would you ever see me doing some shit like that, dude. So... The fact is that you have your phone on the table and that's just about to be suckling succotashing all over your phone, bro. How much are your phones? You guys just have so much money where you just drop it. What a phone's like $1,000 nowadays, $2,000 nowadays. What are you fucking crazy? You're literally walking around with gold bars in your fucking pocket and you, you're dripping ice cream on that shit like it doesn't fucking matter, bro. <laughs> I mean, these people gotta have some different priorities, bro. You gotta have a lot of money to have your shit be dripping like this. Kid bubble waffle. This looks absolutely gorgeous. Look at that shit. You fucking gross. Break it out with time. Million. Ugh. Can't eat one of these because my mustache would get on that. I got a galaxy salted caramel bubble waffle. Sure, talk that shit, Becky. Talk that shit. Go ahead. Tell us about that shit. Go ahead. I actually like this sweater, Becky. It looks itchy, but it looks good on you. Cone. Sorry, but I took out the cone with some ice cream and it's got some like crunchy bits on it. Amazing. Break it up with 10. 10. <laughs> it's always a 10, bro. Everything's a 10 for these people, man. Oh, I understand why they have to have their shit on the table. Because they influencers. I get it, bro. They have to record themselves. But even still, like, record your shit. Put your shit in your pocket, dude. Don't walk out with your shit. <laughs> don't have your shit on the if table. If you don't like seeing fat people eat what you might consider an excessive amount of food, then my whole account ain't for you, so just block me. For breakfast this morning... Ah, damn, Leah kind of going crazy, man. That is some asymmetrical application of that of that pepperoni, man. That's crazy. What is this aesthetic, man? Can you imagine literally eating food in front of refrigerators? 
Who buys refrigerators, man? It's got to be so weird, bro. I know a guy that works in an appliance store, and the only thing that people come in and buy are just TVs or smartphones. And he just has, like, a whole bunch of electronics, like refrigerators, air conditioners. Like, nobody ever comes in and buys those. And, uh, like, what, you know, do they just sit there? Do, eventually, do they just throw them away eventually? Like, what happens after, like, a year or two years when they become obsolete because your refrigerator has to have Wi-Fi and has to play, like, I don't know, uh, has to play, like, your, your favorite streamer's content on the fucking screen or whatever. Does everything but refrigerate your food. I don't fucking know, dude. Whatever, man. Then we've come to Costco and Elves, me a port. Me, Leah, and Becky went for a job. Ooh. The notorious, the notorious tuna potato. Gross. Somebody let me know if that shit's good, bro. I could potato. Charlie went for a chicken bacon a pizza. I know what I would rather eat, but I've been trying to make it. doesn't a few look melted either. Can you tell them to throw it in the microwave for a little bit? Do healthy alternatives every now and then. So that's why I went for a jacket. Listen, if my if my if my refrigerator can't play, it needs to have a 4090, naturally. 4090, a 9800X 3D, obviously. Uh, I need to literally be playing all my games on that shit, okay? I'm about to literally drop five thousand dollars on my new refrigerator. Um, it doesn't really even need to keep my shit cold. I just need to play games on that shit. Potty. Despite what people say, I don't actually promote overeating. My what I eat in a day is just to show you what I've eaten personally. You I don't have to say you don't promote overeating, but if you're overeating and you're you're displaying that, that is by definition what you're doing. That's like somebody showing like on live stream them killing them, killing somebody and going like, I would never promote murder. I'm just killing somebody personally. Never encourage anyone to overeat. And if there's any parents out there concerned that their children are watching these videos, then maybe you should be monitoring what your kids are. True, Corey. Talk that shit. That's exactly true, dude. Monitor your shit but it's becoming progressively harder and harder to like monitor your kids stuff uh, i remember when i grew up in the, in the internet age this was like very early on before like parents even knew what the internet was and there, all the parents and all the adults at the time they used to tell you like oh no the internet's a facade it's not gonna do anything it's bullshit you know like what are you talking about i remember literally growing up and I had parents tell me, oh, you're David, you're going to have to find it. You you know, this is going to have, this is going to treat you well for the rest of your life. So like, you always have to know how to insert a, a VHS tape in a VCR because this is going to help you later on in your life. What is a VCR? Nobody uses a VCR anymore. I haven't seen a VCR in like 20 years, bro. The same thing with printers, the same thing with any of this stuff, like all the stuff that parents and adults said that you were going to need to use just became obsolete in like five years. And then here I am teaching you guys about smartphones when you guys didn't even know what the fuck that shit was and you thought that shit was like the devil for like a thousand years when i was sitting there playing on the game and they heard pause it pause it real quick what you mean pause it i can't it's online pause online you want me to stop time you want me to literally stop time let me just pull out my magical crystal ball and you know put my hand above it real quick so i can tell the the genie in the crystal ball to pause time real quick like what are you talking about that is like it hurts me so deeply because here I am, and I knew many people that were also in this bracket that were like, no, the internet's going to be the next big thing. No, it's not. Stop it. You're gay. What are you talking about? How am I gay? I'm your son. What are you talking about? I have a girlfriend. But you know what I'm talking about, dude. Um, it's just interesting how so many parents used to shit on kids by saying like the internet wasn't going to be anything and like all their old technology and stuff like that. And it just completely evaporated in like five, six, seven years. But that's true. When I grew up, there was no parental um, things because most parents had no idea what the fuck that shit was. What are you, crazy? What are you, crazy, dude? My mom gave birth to me at 38. My mom had no idea what the internet was. So I was watching. This is back in the olden days of YouTube. This is back in the olden days of the internet where you could literally find anything and everything. Bro, I was watching dudes literally shove jars, uh, uh, jars like mason jars in their ass and having it explode like a shrap metal mine from World War II. Like a fucking bouncing Betty's going off in his ass. I was watching dudes get slammed down by horses. And I, this was just something I saw when I was like, I don't know, 13, 12. I was just watching this shit. And obviously it's not good. I was watching a dude slam dick right into a fish's mouth in school on the computers nobody gave a fuck nobody even knew and obviously it's better now it's probably i don't know how hard it is now actually i have no idea i often i often wonder what it is to be a parent nowadays because it's like this is a it's a forbidden realm we have we don't i, don't, I have no idea what the fuck is going on like I, I couldn't even imagine what it'd be like um to have as much internet and like how how prolific it is nowadays and have the ability to like somehow navigate the internet for yourself but also navigate the internet for your children too it's got to be crazy man 
to watching online because there's much worse. Corey's right, definitely. Your parents should be the people that are uh, p putting the the brakes on whatever the kids watch on the internet. It's not the kids, you know, it's, it's the parents. Than a fat person overeating. My first ever TikTok video was a what I eat in a day, and two years ago I used to eat a lot more than I do now. Over the last few months, I've tried to be a little bit more mindful, despite what some people might think. You might not enjoy this content, and that's completely fine. I love it. Keep going, Corey. Don't worry what the haters saying. You good. You got it, bro. And you might not find these videos helpful, but there is people out there that do enjoy them. And we I enjoy making these videos to share with you guys. So we're not going to stop making the videos regardless of people's opinions and comments. Because we're doing what makes us happy. True. <laughs> Talk your shit, Corey. Now I respect it. It's true. Go ahead, bro. Do what you got to do. Forget about what the haters are saying, bro. You good. I'm forever grateful for the platform I've been given. And I'll continue to share what I class as kind, positive, and uplifting content. True. We spent the day in Manchester today and went for a bit of shopping. Came back to Ellesmere a port for an Nando's. And although we went to this... I, I, somebody gotta let me know what they think about these new seats down at the... At the... Because, like, th this is not unique to whatever... Whatever, um theater that they're at right here whatever theater you go to nowadays is gonna have like lazy boys and stuff like that um but i had known a girl had told me that she sucked off three dudes in a theater before and then i used to think like am i sitting on nut butter am i sitting on literally like bus butter right now like when i sit on this chair am i gonna get pregnant um let me know do they clean these off how often do they clean these off what do they clean them with um i hope it's like spermicide or something dude because i'm not trying to i'm not trying to feel my butt cheeks wiggling when i'm sitting down the cinema last night we fancied another cine day we watched a terrifier 3 it was so terrifier 3 sounds like an actual fake movie like it doesn't sound like it should be a real movie it sounds like a movie that you would see in a movie that's trying to make fun of another movie if that makes any sense you know what i'm saying like terrifier 3 it doesn't sound real awesome and we're heading back to barry tonight one dollar are you crazy? We fancied another Cine day. We watched a No way, bro. That's a bill? You throw a bill in that shit and you get... Dude, you know these shits has been in there since like 1982, right, bro? That's crazy, bro. Terrifier 3. It was so gruesome. And we're heading back to Barry tonight. We've got a five-hour journey home. And our ETA is half Gotta four in the, the morning. Macais. Yes, right, guys. We went to Mackay's. You know how it is. Here in the UK, we love Mackay's. So we stopped at the services to rescue some malnourished bounty balls and add a cheeky Mackey D's. Happy Tuesday, you sexy sods. Bye-bye, driver. We're going to go. Costco <laughs> And the drinks here are £1 for unlimited. Uh, you gotta fill up on that, obviously. One pound for the fill up. The option I got jack of potato yep. and cheese with beans, obviously. Oh, it and looks I'm really nice. Loads of pepper on it. Last time I came it looks not nice. I don't know why the cheese is always like never melted. It looks like our American cheese. When you leave it in the sun, it just kind of stays shape or whatever. It, it doesn't look like real cheese. And of course, the American cheese is not like real cheese. It's just like cheese product or whatever. I had this and it was last show. I've gone for the healthy option. Yeah. Let's see your healthy option. This is the healthiest of the Yo, why the fuck we see so much cleavage there? Yeah. <laughs> I've got a tuna jacket potato with loads of cheese. Ugh. It smells fishy. <laughs> I got a chicken bake wrap and a slice of pizza. Gross. Stunning. What's your fave? Um, the chicken and bake wrap. Wait, I've yeah. heard mixed opinions about the chicken and bake wrap. I've heard a lot of people tell me it has no flavor. I've heard a lot of people tell me that it's all about the quantity instead of the quality. Um, I've never been to Costco before, so you can let me know how good the pizza, how good the chicken wraps are, how good the food in general is there. Because I've never been, and I like there's none near me. So it's like it's very, very, very far away for me to go to a Costco. But let me know how these taste. Out of 10. Million. There's a fly! I got a tuna jacket. Oh, shit, dude. It's Jeff Bezos, dude. Look at this guy back here, man. Jeff Bezos coming through in Costco? Who would have known? Hey, um, and it's so delicious. I never usually get tuna, but... Yeah, um. nobody should get tuna. Tuna is literally the forbidden food outside. It's it's literally a gamble. There's like a 35% chance if you eat tuna outside, it's going to bubble your gut. Why would you ever take that chance? I don't fucking know. I'm loving it. As delicious as me? Not quite. Ooh. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah? <laughs> that is full. Yeah, just get the paper on there, dude, bro. You right? You got that? Packets of pepper. You got that? Four Taste packets. test. Cheers, guys. Can you stir it in then? Mm. No. Anyway, we're off shopping for the day, so we'll see you later. All right, Corey. We're going for a two two chicken nando. Isn't that twenty two chicken? No, is it two two? How do we pronounce that? My name's Rob Kardashian, and this is what I got from Nando's. I went for the healthy alternative because I'm on a health kick at the minute. I got Perry chips, a plain chip. Yo, what you mean health kick? I just saw you body slam a whole thing of Domino's. Literally a minute, like literally five minutes ago, I saw you body slamming that shit. What you mean health kick? 
You mean Hellcake in the other direction? Can wrap garlic bread, mac and cheese, the ah, pot of gravy. Damn. Gravy. Hi, I'm Chloe Kardashian, and this is what I've got. Of course, I got some mash, some grilled halloumi, some Fanta orange butterfly chicken, and some garlic bread. My name is Kim Kardashian, and this is what I got with Nando. I've got the new funny flavor cheesy thighs, peri chips, spicy rice. Damn, plate Sorry, big I've as also hell. Got a second plate. They seem like nice people, in my opinion. They're not bad people, right? Mm -hmm. They just don't they just have bad poor eating habits. They seem like cool friends. I saw a lot of people questioning, like, oh, is the only reason why Corey is friends with Becky because she has following on TikTok? Yeah. But so what? So what? Sometimes you meet people in certain jobs, like for instance, like let's say you're a lawyer. Would you meet other lawyers uh, in that job? Yeah. And are they good people? Yeah. So you wouldn't have met them if you weren't a lawyer. If you weren't in that right time or the right scenario, you're not going to meet them. So I don't judge that Corey is using Becky to get clout and vice versa. It is what it is. There's a growing opportunity for both of them. Um, if they're authentic friends, I'm not really too sure. But it almost doesn't matter, dude. Becky needs this friendship. Becky needs people in her life that are going to you know, push her a little bit that are going to be outside the norm or whatever, dude. Now, it might not be necessarily the best thing for her in the sense of, like, the food intake and also the alcohol, beverage intake as well. I never saw Becky really drink a lot of alcohol in comparison to how much she's been drinking recently hanging around with these people, but maybe it's good for her. I don't know, man. Yeah, very, yeah, it's a lot of food there. Damn. Kind of going all out of there, huh? Big as fuck. But anyway, guys, that's the end of the video. If you enjoyed today's video, I'd appreciate everybody could leave a like, comment, subscribe, sharing the video, all those things I'd appreciate tremendously. If you watch the video in its entirety and or you're here right now, leave it down below by typing in grave. I've got a big grave. Because uh, Corey loves it. So always gravy. And cold because he has a big cold today. Um, feel bad. Feel bad for Corey for having a cold. I feel bad for anybody that gets cold. It's, um, it's always terrible. It just feels like you're never optimal. You have to sleep. Good sleep. Good sleep and lots of water. That will literally kill the cold in, in like record time. So make sure you're drinking a lot of water. That's good in general. Good advice in general is to drink a lot of water and get proper sleep. A good eight hours of sleep is going to be doing wonders to you, dude. You're going to feel so good after that eight hours of sleep. I recommend it for everybody and anyone. Get good eight hours of sleep every single night. Not seven, not six, eight. Get eight or more if you can. If you can squeak in an extra hour in there, dude, as long as it's not interfering with your schedule, you're going to be doing well. And you know what? To top it off, you don't really need it in the sense of like the way you look. You already look delicious, amazing, spectacular, awesome. You look like a person that is a good smelling, good person. And I, re I represent it. I, I really care for that. I think that it's amazing that you smell as good as you do. But let's be honest here for a second. You could use a little bit more sleep. And I think you should. I think you should treat yourself to the sweet nectar of the pillow pushing up against your head. And you marinating your brain with the sweet Z's. That's going to make you feel so much better. And it's going to make you feel like your day is more enhanced. And your hormones are going to be better regulated you're just gonna feel like a gooder person and that's amazing but uh, anyway if you want to check out my social media down below it'll be there in the description enjoy the rest of your day guys 